It has been a tough recovery for now 23-year-old Madison Harbor. She was involved in a traffic accident just over a year ago. You know, we first told you about Madison last fall when her rescuers were honored. Well, now WATE 6 on your side's Veronica Obey caught up with her today and found out what life is like for her now. Yeah, that's right, Lori. Harbor says after losing her left hip muscles, it has changed her life as she is now walking with a cane, but she has taken the steps she believes is necessary to get closer to what life used to be. Good boy. Madison Harbor now looks at life in a different way. I try to spend more time with the ones I love and care about, um, say I love you more, and, um, you know, just be present more with those people that mean the most to you. This outlook on life comes after Harbor was in a tragic accident last April, trying to make a turn off of East Emory Road where she was hit by an oncoming car. It's a day Eric Bradshaw, a firefighter paramedic with Rural Metro Fire, will never forget as he was one of the first ones on the scene. When I noticed her injury, the uh, car frame of the first vehicle went through the door and into her pelvis. An injury that could have turned life threatening for Harbor, but the emergency workers on the scene worked quickly. I can't really explain to anyone else what it's like to, you know, be around, you know, someone who, or multiple people who saved your life. Seeing her progress from not being able to stand to taking her first steps, Harbor says she will always be grateful. Just thank you for everything. I can't say that enough. Um, without them, I would not be here. And um, it's honestly a miracle that I'm here and able to walk and still have my leg and it's all thanks to them. But Bradshaw says the result Harbor is showing every day is the true trophy. The fact that she was walking was amazing and that's honestly better than any award they can give me. I mean that's we for the outcome of our patients that's what we do what we do. And Harbor says there's still much more recovery time to go as she has some more set surgery scheduled ahead, but she takes comfort in the progress she has made so far. Lori. Oh, my goodness. Veronica, thank you. She's doing so great. Um, Knox County Rescue and Rural Metro Fire both raced to her rescue.